The positive impact of the Blunder project has been quite wide, both at a very local level, excellent communications with the local community, from salmon angling to rehabilitation of land, and then at a wider level, all the way to the national economy, which is dependent on power-intensive industries. An assessment of the Blunder project was carried out in 2013 using the Hydropower Sustainability Assessment Protocol, a tool for measuring the sustainability performance of hydropower projects across a range of social, environmental, technical and economic considerations. Planta achieved international best practice in 14 of the 17 relevant topics of the protocol assessment and has been awarded the IHA Blue Planet Prize in 2017 for excellence in sustainable development. The project is operated by Landsvirken, the national power company of Iceland. We cooperate closely with local government and stakeholders by keeping it personal, visiting the locals for the feedback. Loss of vegetation was the project's most significant challenge. Landsvirken committed to revegetate 30 square kilometers of land. The company has already exceeded its commitment, with 55 square kilometers so far revegetated. This has improved the quality of land and also reduced the erosion that was a problem in the area. In the assessment, the Planta project received a range of high scores, but the scores aren't everything. The assessment also enables project owners to quickly identify gaps in their operations and take action to improve performance. One of the great experiences of the assessment was actually to receive the gaps. At first we were a little bit shocked, to be honest. But as we started to use the protocol to improve the gaps, we saw our operation improve, we saw our communication improve, and the result was a better project. So in the end, it wasn't the high score that really mattered. It was the ability to identify the gaps. Landsvirkjun, with its efforts to assess and improve its projects, is actually contributing to a common international language uh, on hydropower sustainability. It's providing a public good which is improved knowledge about what works and what doesn't work in hydropower. Today we have adapted the protocol to all our hydropower projects. That is the most valuable lesson we take from the protocol, how it has helped us to innovate and improve the quality of our operation and project.